Hello, hello, hello. It's my birthday today. We're both throwing smoke into the night. It's raining, I suppose. You need a ride. She said, I've got nothing to do. Neither do you. There's a place down the road. Yeah, yeah. I'm just kidding, the road. and yeah I have the day off it's Friday me and Denver are gonna go actually hiking um, we're gonna go to what is that lake it's around Percy Priest I think it's called the day loop trail um, there's also a volunteer trail but I think that one's a little bit longer so depending on what I'm feeling we might do the volunteer volunteer trail I think you saw that I got an instacart for my mom for my birthday Brian gave me my gift I made a little bracelet i thought i was gonna put 27 on it but i don't have any numbers so that was a fail but it's cute and i'm so excited i love this little ritual of like hiking with denver and then i go get brunch and then i chill with my friends you know later in the night i'm not gonna say it's a ritual i don't know I've, i did it last year and i love it i love hiking with denver he's not a very like social dog so i don't invite anyone um, and I would feel mom guilt if I just went hiking like alone or with like someone else and didn't bring him because he's in the house all day and I love spending time with him. Look at my cool passenger. So cute. He should actually be in the back, but we'll get there. So yeah, I'm just gonna, we're gonna go hiking. Um, like I said, I'm gonna go get brunch. I'm gonna get ready for the night. I've got a cute little dress to wear. I'm gonna go to Up Down tonight in East Nashville with some friends take a cake up there play some games have some drinks have some fun and yeah and then tomorrow we are going to east nashville beer fest um also in east nashville so it's a fun weekend and i'm just gonna take you along for it i think it'll be fun and maybe answer some questions as well about um yeah just our life i think as you saw my instacart my mom sent it to me because she doesn't live here we're in tennessee and she's in indiana all of our families in indiana um our whole lives were in indiana and now we're having a blast in tennessee so i'm gonna get driving and i'll talk to you in a bit She's lying better than I do. our hike um i have the spiritual shit podcast on i love that podcast shameless plug for them alia um you should definitely check her out but we're back from my hike it was about an hour and a half it says it's four loops but my apple watch only um four miles but my apple watch only clocked three and a half so yeah an hour and a half with all of our stops denver was going absolutely not so in the water i'm like my poor baby there was a dog in front of us who was off leash and then he was like me too so we like stood back and he jumped in the water crazily i originally started this tradition of going hiking on my birthday in arizona and i kind of want to talk about some questions that have like come up over the years that like reoccurringly come up for me and brian since we moved um so i'll do that while i'm driving and i'm gonna go get my free 
bun cake from Nothing Bun Cakes and then we're gonna go home. So let's get into the questions. Just wanna start this off by saying, it's not like we get crazy amounts of questions, but these questions have come up a lot and I think it's just like curiosity of people, like how did you do it? I wanna do it. Like maybe it's like a type of encouragement type thing. But anyways, the first question we get is why did we move to Arizona originally? So if you didn't know, Brian and I lived in Arizona for about a year and a half um, before coming to Nashville. And we've been in Nashville for two years now, Nashville, Tennessee. And so we originally moved just for the heck of it, honestly. We had always lived in Indiana our whole lives. I graduated college and I got a job actually in downtown Chicago. I got the job the day the world stopped with COVID. But we were remote for my whole like, honestly my whole, I've been remote ever since I've been working for them. But by the, the sixth or seventh month I start, I was working with them, I, I was like, yo, like, I don't think anything is going to change. Like, am I cool to move? And they're like, sure. I'm like, I don't care. But I took advantage of that. And we had some places in mind, Nashville actually being one of them, Arizona, Georgia, and like South Carolina. I don't know. Those were always my places growing up. And I never, I only visited Nashville of those places. So we were like, well, let's go, I guess, as far as we can and see if we like it. So we got a six month lease, packed up our house um, in Denver and took our two cars with our, you know, all of, all of our belongings essentially to Arizona. I think it's like a 16 hour drive. So we both drove separately. I took Denver and yeah, honestly, we just moved because we wanted something new and the opportunity presented itself and we were like, let's go. The other question we get is like how we afforded it financially and honestly, like, our rent was definitely cheaper in Indiana, but it was only like $400 less than what it was in Arizona. Granted, we had a whole house in Indiana versus when we moved to Arizona, we were in an apartment in Deer Valley. But yeah, I mean, we, you just make it work. Like we are very frugal um, and we don't like go out crazily. We don't, you know, spend our money crazily on like food drinks honestly clothing like that type of thing we've I've always been like honestly like cheap so it just worked out and then why we moved to Nashville Arizona was just like too far for us like we're pretty we're very close with our family um, and so getting back home with Denver in mind like two flights it was just way too much and also like we knew Arizona was gonna be hot but it is hot for like half of the year and we're obsessed with Denver so it wasn't really working out for him we were in an apartment we love the hiking like we love Arizona for the hiking I actually prefer the hiking out there versus like Nashville and that's kind of like where I gained like my independence like I always went hike hiking alone that was my, my first dip into like yeah doing shit alone because we really didn't have any friends out there which leads me to like the next question how we made friends in arizona i'll be very truthful like we kind of didn't make many friends when i moved out there we didn't know anyone oh and so that's the other question like when we moved to arizona and nashville we didn't know anyone i found out that my godmom who i never really met in my life lived in arizona so we hooked up with her she had a daughter our age and her boyfriend so we hung out with them a lot um and not not a lot i don't know we hung out with them um sparingly and then i this girl that I guess I went to school with I didn't even really know to be honest not no shade to her no shade Taya no shade um but she when we posted that we moved she was like oh my god like I'll give you a tour or whatever so I think a couple months in I was like please be my friend and she was actually friends with one of my friends from like grade school what or I would say like a girl I knew from grade school I wasn't like we weren't friends or anything but we became friends in the process um and again like I hung out with them sparingly and when I say sparingly, I would say like once a month or every two months for both of these 
these people. And then the last girl I actually hooked up with, I was going to Planet Fitness. She checked me in and she was like, oh my God, like you're from my home gym. Like I started in the Hammond uh, Planet Fitness, which is just wild. Like it's a really small world. So after a couple of times of like seeing her, I was like, oh, like let's be friends. Shouts to you, Amber. And then in Nashville, that's when I was like, yo, I need friends. I don't like this like we moved here and I figured I figured out there wasn't like hiking nearby. Like in Arizona, we had North Mountain 15 minutes away, like trails everywhere. Here it's not as common. It's more just like walking trails. And for like hiking trails, it, it's like a 30 minute drive, which isn't bad, but it's not the same like frequency. So I was like, I need to get on the friend train. I joined these groups on Facebook, like literally like new to Nashville, Nashville girls group. And originally I met this girl, Jordan from new to Nashville, like my first or second month in, I hooked up with her. We got along really well, but then she moved to New York and then I, I commented on her post she was looking for friends and then like three months into our us being here I posted on new to Nashville like yo I'm looking for friends I like hiking blah 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 going to new breweries whatever and then my bestie Eden um she didn't even comment on it like it anything she ended up following me on Instagram um and messaging me and I didn't see it until like I don't know a day or two later and yeah so I went to hang out with her and her boyfriend Luca um, the first time and now I'm you know I've mooched off of her and her friends her friends are my friends <laughs> and yeah my, my other friend group is kind of that same story like Facebook so I would definitely recommend just like getting out of your comfort zone joining Facebook groups you're really especially if you work from home like there's not a lot of opportunities that are going to be presented to you to make friends I really recommend like the Facebook groups and I recommend you put yourself out there like yeah it's gonna be awkward but most situations are anyways so lean into it embrace the awkwardness embrace like meeting new people doing new things going to new places um i would actually recommend like your first meetup be like trivia or some shit like that i don't know i always did that with everybody and it was fun last question is just how we figure out like places to go whether that's like hiking or eating breweries anything like that like where trivia is and i am a yelp girly i will spend the night scrolling through Yelp um first I start with like the area around me and I just check out like restaurants and I check out their menus and if I like it I put it on my board um I do the same thing for vacations I just love food <laughs> and breweries and stuff like that so Yelp for those things and then for hiking I use all trails and that's been really helpful they have so many different like um filters whether that's like difficulty of it the length of it if it's dog friendly so definitely recommend those two apps and yeah um like i said we're not like getting these questions crazily but we have got them a lot and i just wanted to share in case it's helpful for anyone i definitely think like making friends in a place that you don't know is obviously the hardest part so I can't stress like putting yourself in those like uncomfortable situations at first and yeah you kind of get used to it you make your friends and you have just a better time I, I really do think like life is about the relationships you build whether that's with your family which we obviously don't have here or friends um, and we love it here and I can't, I can't really say that we had the same experience in Arizona like I mentioned had I gone the route of like Facebook groups I don't know it might have been different but it definitely changed our perspective on just like yeah making friends moving to a new place where you don't know anyone so I hope that helps now I'm not going to nothing but Kate or nothing but kinks because it was like 30 minutes away from where we were I'm just gonna head home and drop Denver off and maybe go to like first watch or something for breakfast I don't know I might even just like get something and go home and chill it's currently one o'clock and then I'm gonna take you along for the night I probably won't record that much I'll just like record my outfit up a little bit of up down okay cool Alright, I didn't record a great outfit video, but I think I have one. We're at Up Down. 
we are the first ones here, and we're, we were kind of on time. We we're only five minutes late from the time I told my friends. We got a ice cream cake that's gonna melt. We got a Brian, and we got a beautiful night. This is the fit for Nashville Beer Fest. I am on the way. Um, it's about 12.30. It started at 12. So I'm going to meet my friends up there. We had a nice time yesterday at Uptown. We got home at like 11.30. So it was very chill. But yeah, I'm going to head on over there. It's in East Nashville. I'm going to find some parking and I might record a little bit. So let's go. All right, actually, this is the fit. It's like 75 degrees. I'm going to be drinking hella beer. Um, like literally all from Shein. These are Madden, just a hat from Vegas, and then I think I got these from Cotton on. Cheers to having a great day today and good being beer. safe and good beer. Pink <laughs> sunshine. Yay! My name's Melissa, and this is my fourth drink. My name's Amanda, and this is my fourth drink. <laughs> my name is Ashley, and this is my fifth drink. Maybe six. Question six. <laughs> my name is Nicole. This is my second drink. My name is Jasmine. This is my fourth drink. Hi, I'm Melissa, and this is like my ninth or tenth. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nicole. This is my sixth or seventh beer. Okay. And she's got it set for Mumbo. Okay, what am I doing? I'm Amanda, and I think this is my tenth. I'm Ashley. I've tried four. Beer Fest. Beer Fest. It's the end of the Beer Fest. It's 4.30. Been here for four hours. 